Once your total snapshot is created, it's recommended that you review the taxation model that's predefined within the total snap cart. Each vendor is responsible for ensuring that they collect the correct taxes and amount from customers. So we're already logged in here as the total snapshot vendor administrator. And again, this is reached by navigating to your total snap editor, selecting I want to change and choosing shopping cart, and then clicking log into the vendor account. So let's go to the taxes and we'll review one of the existing taxes here. So let's think about this from the perspective, perhaps as an example of someone who is a seller uh, residing in Texas and thinking about sales to customers within Texas. So I'm looking at the tax rates now for other US states and I'm scrolling down here looking for Texas. And I can see that there's the state sales tax of 6.25%. Now I know that in many cases there's an additional up to 2% extra charged on sales depending on different municipalities, cities, etc. So what I can do now is I can add a custom tax. And maybe I'll call this local sales tax. The registration number is actually not used here because it's superseded by the vendor's business number or tax registration number that's accessible under the vendor's account. I'm going to say that the rates depend on the shipping address of the customer and that this tax should apply when the seller and the customer are in the same state or province and the price doesn't include tax. So now if I look at the tax rates I'm going to scroll down and just enter in 2% for Texas. And then I'm going to create and close that. Now, there's an alternative way we could have done that. We could have just modeled that as sales tax, essentially to override the existing sales tax that is there in the cart. The reason I've done it this way is it means I've only had to change an amount for one location rather than copy the taxes for all of the other locations. At the end of the day, it depends on how you want this to be visible to your customers and what they see in the checkout. So, we've created the tax. What we now need to do is apply that to our products. So let's pick up one of our products. And if I scroll down to the taxes section, we can see that this local sales tax is available. Any custom taxes that we create will be colored blue here, so it's easier to, to um, determine which ones we've created versus which ones are predefined in the cart. And I'll save that. Now, if we also wanted to apply that to shipping methods, then we would need to contact Hosting Nation support to do that. We don't have privilege to be able to modify existing shipping methods. You can see here that the local sales tax is available for this, but it's not currently assigned. So we'd need to ask Hosting Nation support to do that for us and then come back and view the shipping method to check once it's been done. So now that we have our custom tax set up, let's see how that looks to a customer as they proceed through the checkout. So I'm going to go to my author2.totalsnap.ca, head to the Total Snap shop, add an item into the cart and go to the checkout. And I'm going to sign in as a customer that I've previously set up to be located in Austin in Texas. And the seller in this case as well is also located in Texas. So as we can see, we have the sales tax of 6.25% and we also have our custom local sales tax of 2% applying to the sale. So that's it. That's how we set up a local or a custom tax.